Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just be logged into your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just me wait and now here just me search for the Vertex AI. Open this thing in new tab like this way and just me come back over here, wait for a couple of seconds. Now here you can see in the dashboard, just me click on this enable all recommendation API over here. Now just me wait. And it's done. Now just simply click on this workbench over here. And then click on this user manage notebook over here. And then click on this create like this way. Now for the name, just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one. Just simply scroll down and just simply check are you able to see different name over here? If not, then you can just simply continue with the default name. Now for the region and zone, what you do from the lab instruction, you can just simply get your region and zone. So for me, the given region is US West one and zone is C. So I'm going to make the changes accordingly that. And for you, it might be different. So just simply make the changes accordingly that like this way. Now for the environment, it must be TensorFlow Enterprises 2.x. So for me, it's already chosen. So we are not going to make any other changes. Now here you can see if we just scroll down over here and from it you can see it must be E2 standard 2 as a machine type. But if we just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see the machine type is E2 standard 4. So no need to worry. Just simply click on this advanced option over here and just simply wait. And then click on this machine type over here like this way and from here just simply change the machine type accordingly that like this way and it's done now just simply click on this create now it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that And it's finally done. Now just simply click on this open Jupyter lab over here and it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, what you do, just simply come back to the lab instructions and just simply scroll down. And here you can see from the task number four, just simply copy this git clone command. Just simply copy like this, come back over here, wait for a couple of seconds and then click on this terminal over here. Now just simply paste your command and hit enter. Now just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done, we are done with this lab. So just simply wait for a couple of seconds. And it's finally done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the both the tasks, you will get a green tick and full score on this task without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any notes, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day.